What is going on, you guys? It is your boy Omzi here. And guys, we're on the last episode of Death Note. I can't believe we finally got to this point. You guys already know how much of a blast I have been loving this show. I just want to say to everybody that's checked out the Death Note reactions and that have subscribed to the channel from the Death Note reactions, I thank you very much that you find me very entertaining and just you've been on the ride with me throughout this entire journey and I just can't believe we're about to end it and what a last episode it was. I honestly thought it's probably one of my favorite Death Note episodes in the entire series. Who knows, that could change probably whatever the hell happened happens in this episode but obviously we saw from the last episode light literally is one of the smartest characters i've ever seen in anime one of the smartest characters i've ever seen his entire long plan was explained and like all the exposition that was shown and done in the last couple episodes all explained and it made absolute sense it was such a well executed plan so to speak it did end on a cliffhanger we really don't know if they're actually dead but i assume they're gonna be dead but let's just say he really executed plan to a t and yeah near did his best near thought that he had the like upper hand on light but then light came back and he's like no, I knew you were going to do that, and I'm going to Uno reverse your ass, and I'm going to explain all this shit, and you're about to die right now. So honestly, let's just see what happens. I'm just still speechless after the last episode, and I just want to honestly see what happens. But if you guys are new to the channel, you guys like my reaction, like, subscribe, comment down below. If you guys want to be notified on what we release those videos, definitely smash that notification bell. That out of the way, let's get into it. Did it not happen? We're still alive. No. It's been over a minute and we haven't died. <gasps> oh god! Did I already tell you all that no one was gonna die. But why? Why would they die? God! I did everything you told me! Rester, Giovanni, take him now! Oh my god! I guess his plan didn't go through. Holy shit! Earlier than see for yourselves. Mikami also addressed you as God and said he did what you asked him to. Yeah. It's settled. God damn. It's a trap! This whole thing is a setup! This is all part of Nier's plan to prey me! Isn't it a little odd that no one died after having their name written in the notebook? This proves it's a trap! So, no matter what, he still modified it. Holy shit, his plan actually didn't work. Oh my god. I've never seen light more helpless. Oh my god. You might have actually won, and I would have lost. We ended up doing exactly what you expected us to. Yeah. And altered the fake notebook in Mikami's possession. Wow. However, when I said before that we had modified the notebook, I was in fact referring to the real notebook as well as the fake. Huh. We only switched part of the fake notebook, but as for the real one, we replaced the entire thing. Oh, Fuck! Holy shit! Impossible! We used the same kind of pen that Mikami used, copied his handwriting perfectly, and made both the inside and the outside of our fake look exactly like the original. Giovanni was able to do it in a single night. God damn. Of course. 
Ever since I had touched the real notebook before coming, I've been able to see the Shinigami as well. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Shinigami. Holy I'm fuck. <laughs> nice to meet you too. My name is Ryuk. He can talk to Ryuk. He can see him, so that means it, it must be true. Some of the edges of this notebook's pages are torn. Tell me, if someone's name was written on a ripped off piece of paper, would they still die? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought so. Light Yagami. You are Kira. Wow. <laughs> this has got to be a trick. Or could it be that Mikami's betrayed me somehow? You're mistaken. <laughs> this was all thanks to Mello. Whoa, what? I believe if I explain this much, you'll begin to understand. Please what? do. Mello. Please take a look at this page of the notebook. His name is a notebook. I was the one who killed her, but her death was written there just one minute later. What? Me and me did the same thing I did. God, you told me you couldn't move freely. I had to make sure. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! You fucked! I can't give you strict orders not to make any other Oh, my God. On the 26th, right after Takara's kidnapping was broadcast on the news, he fucked. Yeah. I've been trailing him. I knew he went to the bank every month on the 25th. So it was odd. For someone so methodical to go to the bank twice in two days. Yeah. I followed Mikami to the bank as he headed for the safe deposit boxes. It was only at this time that he seemed concerned whether someone was following him or not. I got into his safe deposit box. Inside was the real notebook. Sure enough, Takata's name had already been God damn! This was the event that made me consider the possibility of a fake notebook. We were able to stop him thanks to the efforts of one person. Mello. Wow, holy shit. Probably knew what was going to happen all along. It can be resolved by having a name written in the notebook. That's right. Well then, if I don't do it... Wow, so they he actually fucking helped him. Oh my god. Together. Together we can stand with L. Together we can surpass L. What a fucking arc, man. We faced the kid who defeated L and with solid evidence beat him. What a fucking character arc, man. Wow, they fucking avenged the shit out of him. Amazing. Question is, what the hell is going to happen now? Yeah, I think they already knew that. Kira has become law in the world we now live. He's the one who's maintaining order. I have become justice. The only hope for mankind. <laughs> Kill me. Is that really the right thing to do? Hmm. Since Kira's appearance six years ago, wars have stopped, and global crime rates have been reduced by over 70%. But... It's not enough. This world is still rotten. With too many rotten people. Can't believe it's happening. Somebody has to do this. When I first got that notebook all those years ago, I knew I had to do it. No, I was the only one who could. It was his destiny. I understood that killing people was a crime. There was no other way the world had. To me. Who else could have done it? And come this far, would they have kept going? The only one who can create a new world is me. Man, what a monologue. But Jesus Christ. No, you're just a murderer, like Yagami. And this notebook is the deadliest weapon of mass murder in the history of mankind. 
Yeah. <laughs> what the hell happens now? I'm waiting for somebody to shoot his ass. Keep going to the watch. Here's some food for thought. That notebook you have, and the one that Aizawa brought from the Japanese task force headquarters. Are they both real? What is he up to? Is he bluffing? He has to be. At the They're... Moment, only I know where the real notebook is. If you truly want to defeat Kira, as well as test the notebook that Aizawa is carrying, I guess you're going to have to write down either Fuck. It's the only way to see if it's real. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. Or fake. He's in the piece of the Somebody shoot him! Oh fuck! Masada. Oh, Masada? Out of all people, it was him? What about your dad? What the hell did he die for? My dad. <laughs> you mean Suichiro Yakami? That's right, Matsuda. In this world, all those earnest people like him who fight for justice, they always lose. You want a world where people like that are made to be fools? I know you understand, so kill the others! Shoot them! Wow. You know I'm waiting for a headshot. God damn! Did he happen to write something? He did the fucking... Are you serious? He has to be dead no matter what. Oh wow, they held him back. Damn you. There's no way he's living after that shit. He doesn't know what the fuck to do. You fucking killed them all. Is he going to do it? There's so much going on. Dude, he's not living. There's no fucking way. Somebody pick up the gun and shoot him. He's getting away. Light, Mr. Ice. It's unlikely he has any more pieces of the notebook. And with those wounds, he's not going to go far. I was about to say, yeah. Near. I'm not going to follow your orders. Huh? Man, holy shit, what an episode. Absolutely unbelievable, man. You just finally get that realization that like he has no one left. There's nothing he can do. There's nothing there there's there's nothing left. Damn.
Oh man. Unbelievable. Look at that. Well, Light, it looks like you've lost. Remember how in the beginning, when we first met, I told you that I'd be the one writing your name in my notebook. That is part of the agreement between a Shinigami who brings a notebook to the human world. Man. And the first human. Who knows when you die? No, he, he would die via fucking, like, electric chair, probably. It's all over. They kill, they execute his ass. Wow. It was good while it lasted. We eased each other's boredom for quite a while. <laughs> Damn, I'm low key gonna miss this too. Fuck. Well, light. It's been interesting. It's been interesting. Damn, 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 damn. God damn. Misa. So you're gonna start singing again? Wow. Crazy, man. Honestly, crazy. I had the feeling like, honestly, I thought everybody was gonna die. Cause I really honestly didn't know who was gonna live. But just to see, and oh God, Mikami's dead, fuck. Just to see how everything ended in the last two episodes is absolutely unreal. And just for everything to happen is crazy. I really wonder what it means for her character. There's probably maybe more... Maybe more for her in the manga, I assume. I don't know, maybe in the manga there's chapters after this, or like this is the definitive end. Wow, look at that. Man. Oh, God. I can't believe it's finally the end. Ah, man. All right. Well, we're not done yet. Let's obviously check out Elle's funeral. Let's just see how this is. I know people have been talking about this and everything. So, ah, man. I'm still, like, reeling over everything. It's crazy. But here, let's just see Elle's funeral. We've gathered here for your private funeral. The public has no idea you're gone. Hmm. We're going to make it appear as if you're still alive. This is not over yet. We'll continue to work with police from around the world. I swear to you, we will catch Kira and arrest him. That's our promise to you. So, you can rest in peace. Kira and avenge Ryuzaki. Solving this case will be our last gift to him, to Watari, to all of Kira's victims, and to all the people of the world. I swear, right here and now, I will send Kira to his execution. I'm waiting for him to, like, crack something, a glare or something. 
Nah, he's gonna stand there and gloat. He's gonna do his little thing. He's gonna savor this moment, look down on him, finally knowing that he finally put him in the dirt. He's laughing. <laughs> this is the exact same laugh he had at the end of the episode, or in the last episode. Holy shit, this guy is insane. But we already knew that. Jesus Christ. Did you say you no longer have anything interesting to look forward to, Duke? Well, I promise that won't be the case. From now on. show you the creation of a new world. And I assume that was the moment after. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, God, he's not standing in the middle! Holy shit! God. This is the other this is the other scenes that we didn't get to see. I am the God. Oh. Holy shit, that is eerie as fuck. Is that it? Wow. Alright. Oh my god. Man, 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 man. So much, so much to process, so much to say. Um, I can't say one thing uh, about the L's funeral scene. I'm glad that some of you guys told me to watch this after I finished the show because clear as day right there, you see Ryuk writing Light's name and me remembering that agreement possibly would have spoiled like it it, it would have maybe spoiled me on the ending knowing that light was going to die like i'm honestly really surprised that they put that in there um so for for those that were saying wait to the end of the show to watch the scene thank you very very much but no man let's just talk about this episode and just talk about light for a minute say some stuff that i mean not not that we already know of but stuff that i saw in this episode because this is possibly one like like if i didn't see the else funeral scene this episode was the first time that i ever saw light desperate like desperate and just having nothing left nothing left no one to turn to nowhere to hide Th this was the moment and just seeing that was honestly insane and honestly didn't think it honestly would happen i really thought from the last episode that light had everything calculated and his plan was like he planned it to a t but i guess not and just for the fact that near and mellow worked together to eventually avenge l it's really poetic it's not even only poetic but it's an amazing way to do a character arc what a way to do a fucking character arc and honestly, I'm really glad, not even only with, like, Nier as well. Like, God, Nier was fucking amazing in this episode. Not even only in this episode, but th uh, but in this entire, like, second run of Death Note. The, like, the time skip arc, or whatever you want to call it, the part two or whatever. Everybody, it, just this entire show was great. Like, I would, I would, I will say that now with 
even after the time skip and after L was gone, this show was still entertaining. It never lost its luster. And for the episodes filled with exposition or whatever, and when I was ever thinking like, oh, this is kind of getting a little bit slow or it's diff- like it, it's getting a little bit different pace from what we're used to, it, it, it's, it's all meant for something. Every episode has a reason, and God damn it, this show showed it. I really, really had a blast with this show. I really, really did. With all the characters, with Light, to L, to Nier, to Mello, and God, Misa's alive! <laughs> oh my God. Like, she was one of the one people, like, the, the one person that I was thinking she was going to die episodes ago. Honestly, I'm so surprised that Misa is still here. Honestly, I, I'm really surprised because I thought Light honestly would have killed her a while ago. I really honestly thought, no, she's she's alive. And I honestly really wonder what is kind of maybe next for her character. I know they've said something about like a death, uh, what is it, a Death Note sequel in like manga or whatever that I've been hearing about and actually probably got announced maybe like a couple months ago or they said some about it. I think maybe it's an actual like live action show they're trying to plan. Honestly, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, but also let me know in the comments if this actually does end like in the anime, how it does in the manga. Like, oh, are there extra chapters that maybe I should look into? Because if there are, I will. Trust me, I really want to find out more and just see everything else, especially what people have been saying about Nier and Mello in the manga as well. I definitely want to check it out. And just everything that happened with Mikami, oh my God, the fact that he wrote uh, Takara's name and like, like literally probably minutes before Light did, holy shit, was it such a turnaround and such a reveal. Like, I wouldn't have never expected any of that. Then again, I wasn't expecting any of this stuff from even the explanation episode from the last one. So, man, <laughs> unbelievable. But I've been going on for a little bit too much. I have absolutely loved this episode, and I've loved this series. This series is really, really great. And just, if you have people and have friends that have not checked out this show, tell them to go out and check this damn show, because they will be on the ride of their life for 37 straight episodes, and they'll possibly love the hell out of it just like I did. But guys... Death Note is in the books. I want to thank all of you guys for checking out these reactions. And if you guys subscribe to any of these videos, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for still being here. And hopefully you'll be here for the future. Got a long year ahead of us. And hopefully it is looking really, really good. Mob Psycho starts next week. Hopefully I'm going to be on a very tight schedule for the next couple months, including I'm trying to find a new job as well. So let's see how YouTube kind of bounces out with that. But a lot of things coming in the future. Death Note was great. Thank you guys for watching this series along with me and watching my reaction. If you guys are excited for the future of this channel, and if you guys like our videos, like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi, and I am out.